All right, now we're finally back for some more Pokemon Crystal. We discovered the three Roman legendaries, Entei, Suicune, and Raikou. Yes. Now, and now we're meeting up with uh, Yusin here. Yusin is pretty much obsessed with Suicune. I think it was because of a legend that his father told him, I think, years ago, and now he just wants to kind of see it fulfilled, I guess. Um, well, well, actually, if you remember back to, what was it, uh, Pokemon Next Generation, I think it was? Something of that sort. They, they, they showed a short of, um, of Suicune, Entei, Raikou uh, being uh, what it used to be, well, before it was called the Burn Tower. Yeah. Uh, I, I forgot what it was called off the top of my head, of course. Same here, but uh, regardless, I would just show, I think it showed that they were resurrected, they were, they were, they were resurrected of the, the beasts who perished during the fire. Right. <coughs> All right. right, correct. Uh, excuse me, I had something stuck in my throat there. All right, now uh, we'll get back to that in a little bit. We've got the ghost type gym in Ecritique City. So this gym is really kind of weird. Pretty much it's an invisible floor in one wrong move and you are sent back to start. <laughs> Pretty much. All you really have to do though is kind of follow a bit of a specific trail, which I'll be showing you here. Um, that way you won't fall off. Yep, and Alcazan is great in this gym. It is confusion spam. <laughs> Alakazam, or if you happen to raise the Eevee and turn into an Umbreon. That too, yeah, because Umbreon just gets... Umbreon just walls these guys. P uh, pretty much. I think the only conceivable way you can get Umbreon to pursuit early is if you um take get the Eevee that you get from Bill and then breed it. And, and then breed that said Eevee. When, once you get that uh, breeded Eevee, you level it up until... What's level 16 when it evolves? Yes. Uh, assuming you can match up the happiness in time. Yeah. Th that, does, that does take a ridiculously long time to do it, though. Yeah, because the EV you get here is only level... Is it level 20 or is it level 5? Um, you get level 20 from there. Yeah. But, but, if yeah. You breed, but if you breed it, it starts off as level 5. Yeah, because of the breeding mechanics. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, wasn't it wasn't it Gen 3 that uh, turned the level to 1? No, that was Gen 4. Gen 4 did it? Yes. So 3 had... Gen 3 still had the level 5 baby Pokemon, but in Gen 4, but Gen 4 onwards now always level 1. Okay. Okay. I think they did that just so that way the baby Pokemon would be on par with the uh, with the starters, I guess, is how they is what my guess the reasoning was. I I, I guess I guess so. Um, because because otherwise, if you're raising baby Pokemon, you give it the uh, experience share. Yeah, you give it the experience share regardless. But anyways, um, yeah. Yeah, the thing about the ghost type gym though, they kind of lack in terms of uh, other ghost type Pokemon besides the Ghastly and Haunter. Yeah, and the rare mystery rust. But even Mysterious isn't really all that bad to deal with. Well, what well, Mysterious you don't even get until what? Um, is it Mount Silver or is it? Um... I'll look that up. Give me one minute. All right. <clears throat> uh, do, do, do. All right. All right. So you're, he's just kind of spamming the crap out of Mudslap here with the uh, Fero. <laughs> yeah, brain, brain, a ground type move is also a good idea. But you but the only ground type move you're probably most likely to have it at this point is Mudslap. Uh, Mudslap or be caught like a Geodude, you can get Magnitude. If you caught a Sandshrew, then you could probably use Dig. Yeah. Or, 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 or even or even Mudslap, but that works too. Yes, Mysterious is indeed in Mount Silver. Alright, excellent. In Crystal, the levels are... you only find it at level 45. Yeah, that, that's just because at that point, you're raising Pokemon that is basically within the Elite 4 level. Yeah, but even Stone Stevens isn't really all that great of a ghost type. Mm. Uh, not, 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 uh, I, I don't know. I mean, Miss Reeves terrified Gen 2 competitive scene with this, uh, mean look Destiny Bond. True, I just never was a fan of I love him, I love him of all four Miss Magius, though. I think it's so good. Yeah, that was, uh, Gen 4, where you can, yep. um, I think you give it, the, uh, what was it, the Dark Stone? Dusk Stone. Oh, Dusk Stone, thank you, yeah. thank you. That, that's what it was. Yep. Yeah, it mismatches turns into a bit of a decent special attack, but that's really it. Yeah. And that also, Gen 2 to Gen 4, Gen 3 to 2 and Gen 4, Gen 2 mods pretty much got, like, um, of all forms via in Gen 4, because I know Glygon and Gliscor, Mischievous and Magius. Um, Mag Mag Magneton with his new type in turns of Magnezone. Yes. And Eevee gets two new evolutions in, in here. Uh, that, oh, that would be, uh, well, we'll discuss it when we get to Diamond and Pearl, but, uh... Um, yeah. Well, I'm sorry, Platinum. Platinum. Yeah, the, the definitive version of Gen 4, which, it, which is the definitive version of Gen 4. Uh, yeah, you would get Leafeon and uh, Glaceon. Yeah, but, um, this is Gen 2 we're talking about, though. Yeah, this is Gen 2 we're on right now, and, yeah. and we're still dealing with... Uh, to be honest with you, still kind of limited 
move pool. Not not Gen One bad, but it still has its issues. Still has problems, yeah. And and only that, but the TMs don't really have that uh, th that much variety to it. Like like the TM, I think for Harden and for Defense Curl. Why does it have that? Harden and Defense Curl for TMs. That is dumb. I mean, it has a TM for Curse, which is uh, arguably one of the best boosting moves in the game. Yeah. Um, it has a TM for Rollout, which I guess can be fine if you're doing the Rollout um, Defense Curl combo. Yeah, I just never was, never understood why weird. I know they were limited in move pools in Gen 2, but that real, but that really should not have meant that, like, stupid stuff got to be a TM. Well, what, what, I mean, the, the only one that made, the only one that made it to be a TM was the elemental punches. Yeah, that actually made sense. So, but, well, <coughs> Anyways, more hunters. I think the game also kind of expects you to work with some Pokemon that has, you know, decent stats, but not like great moves. Like for example, you can probably get like Spark from um, uh, Lantern. Yeah, Spark Lantern isn't bad. I like using I like using Lantern actually in Gen Two quite a bit. Of course, of course. Um, the only way you can get Thunderbolt early is if you were to get yourself a Pichu from the Odd Egg and turn and turn into a Raichu with Thunderbolt. Yeah. Which you only get if you um. I think yeah, I think you have to level up a Pikachu. Once you evolve from Pichu, Peach the Pikachu. Get to level 26. Get a Thunderstone. Thankfully, you can get it easier in Crystal. It's a little bit easier to pull off in Crystal. Because if you're playing Gold and Silver, you can't get the Elemental Stones until um, Gant until Kanto, where you meet, meet the old man in, in the house where you first meet Bill. And he, he'll ask you if you look for a specific Pokemon. If you give it to him, he'll give you that respective stone, whether it be one of the Elemental Stones or a Moonstone. Hmm, interesting. I, at least I think a Moonstone. I know you get... Leaf, fire, water, and, and uh, thunder uh, from the old man. I don't know about Moonstone though. Yeah, I would. I'm not sure on that one actually. But um, yeah, I think um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's hard to get the Stone Evolution Pokemon in Gold and Silver. They are such a pain in the neck to get. And, and Crystal is a bit more manageable, provided that you get the right phone number. Yeah. Is um the Thunderstone that's also via phone number? I think in Crystal. Y yes. There's a um. I think there's a Pitnicker. Uh, or I'm not sure if it's a Pitnicker. No, no, it's a Lass. A Lass. Uh, there's a Lass that has a Flaffy, and if you beat her, you get her phone number, and and sometimes she'll and sometimes she'll call you to give you a Thunderstone. Yeah, I never really bothered with the phone numbers, at least not in Gen Two Gold Silver Crystal, because it was like you you only have like ten phone numbers, and it's really limited, so you really have to pick and choose. Whereas in the remakes, you don't have to worry about that because it's pretty much unlimited, so you can get all the no phone numbers without worry. Yeah, that. Um, so I guess, well I, well, I guess you have to think. This is a Game Boy Color game, so you would have to think there would have been some memory limitations involved in terms of, in terms of uh, how, how many phone numbers one character can hold. That makes sense. And uh, thankfully the DS did not have that problem, as you mentioned. Thank God, yeah. All right, so this is <coughs> the guy that tends to give people nightmares. On what, well, yeah, <laughs> no, no Whitney. No pun intended. Yeah. This, uh, this isn't Whitney bad, in my opinion, but if you don't have a psychic type with you, or have um, any solid counter to what you're going to be dealing with, then yes, you're in for hell. Yeah, uh, this is Morty. Uh, he's a ghost-type gym leader. Um, well, po well, Pokemon like Alakazam, or even Espeon for that matter, this can be a bit of a cakewalk. Without them, it can be a bit of a challenge. I fought him in, uh, I remember fighting him one time in Heart Gold, and he was actually a really excitingly hard boss battle. Oh my god, be yeah. because, because Shadow Ball got converted to special. And it coming off with Gengar's really high stat, that is a problem. But thankfully though, in Gen 2, a ghost is physical, so you don't really have to worry about that. Uh, not necessarily, no. No. So pretty much with Morty, his deal is that he meets the Pokemon of Rainbow Colors, aka Ho-Oh. And he's like, oh, I've trained here just to meet the Pokemon. I've trained here all my life just to meet Ho-Oh, and you're going to help me help me do that. Yeah, we're going to help him do that by beating him, I, I suppose. Well, yes. Well, he presumably thought he was going to win, but... All right, uh, he'll ha he has Ghastly, two Haunters, and a Gengar. His ace of the hole is the Gengar. The Gengar will try to trap you with Mean Look, put you to sleep with Hypnosis, and then, and then sap away your health with Dream Eater. It is so frustrating. <laughs> It can, it can be incredibly frustrating if it keeps hitting the hypnosis on you. Not to mention Gengar is one of the fastest uh, special sweepers you can ask for in the game. Uh, very, very variable move set, and can, it can work in a variety can work in a variety of different teams. Yeah, I'm never. It, it was just this fight was really frustrating. I'll say that much. <laughs> well, but, well, again, if you're not prepared, yes, it can be very, very frustrating. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So uh, Gengar already. Yep. 
He had the Gengar already. Uh, which is a, which is actually in his third slot, interestingly enough. Why is it in his third slot? It's your ace in the hole. Save it for last. Well, maybe it must be, maybe I must have gotten very desperate at this point. Probably. <laughs> All right, Cybermoon's going to oblivion. Please. Well, I'm at Alakazam. Two levels beneath it, but it doesn't matter. Alakazam is faster. Yep, and good night. Critical hit to the boot. That did not actually matter, but we will take it. Yeah, crap well, of experience. <laughs> Are you sick? Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> a lot of that, a lot of that does go on RPGs, folks. So it's not uh, just in Pokemon. Yep. Yeah, let's just say I don't have really good art in New York <laughs> in general. Uh, let's see. Fire Emblem does it. Persona does it. Fire Emblem does it. You said Fire Emblem twice. No, no, no. I said that's a Pokemon. I said Final Fantasy Persona. Oh, okay. I thought I said Fire Emblem. <laughs> no, I, no, 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 no. Don't worry. I kept track of what I was saying. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. So Fire Emblem, Final Fantasy, Persona. Pokemon, I could say Mario Party, actually. Um, RNG with the blocks, because it's now completely random. Well, uh, we'll talk about in terms of experience points. Uh, but, but I guess if you want to say Mario RPG. Yep. Uh, pa pa Paper Mario, I guess, if you want to expand a little bit further. Yeah, so I'm just really annoying them. And, and I wanted you to spite on my Mutch Lab, even though I ran out of PP for it. <laughs> nice, nice. Alright, so this guy is down. Down for the count. Yeah, but yeah. Again, with my current setup, it was not. I did not find it to be particularly hard. Um, for this playthrough, though, normally you would have to go after Chuck next, but I'm gonna take a slightly different path for this one. Oh really? Uh, yes. Um, because here's the thing: when you go to the Rocket Hideout and Mahogany Town, uh, the Pokemon you fight there are at least within the low twenties. Yeah. And your Pokemon would be within the high. Should be at least within the higher twenties. Um. Oh, Shadow Ball again, sweet. Yeah, sh Shadow Ball. And this game is physical, well, Gens 2 and 3 is physical anyways, but can low special defense, which is a bit odd. Yeah, finally got fixed in Gen... 4. 4, yeah. 4 is physical special split. Having yeah. Shadow Ball be actually became viable. And oddly enough, in Gen 3, Absol Shadow Ball is the closest thing you're going to ever actually get to a dark type stab. Um, well, I, I guess so, because it hurt the same typing, right? Yes, and the fact that with uh, Absol having really high... Sp Physical attack and uh, Shadow Ball having 80 base power. I think that's its. I think again, that's like the closest thing Absol will ever get to a physical, physical dark type stab. Yeah, it was until Gen 4 where it, where it gave a sucker punch and and um, dark type, there was actually physical dark type moves like crunch and sucker punch. Yeah. Uh, something that Absol definitely needed, and I can finally teach my um, my my Fino Croconaw Surf. Yay. All right, cool. Now, now my water type is obscenely strong. <laughs> nice. Surf's up. All right, All right we're going to be doing some quick... We're going to be doing uh, something that you normally don't get to do. Well, okay. I'm, I'm going to wear it like this. There's something that you're supposed to be waiting for. Um, because you know you go back to New Bar Town. And, um, and, you, and, you, don't, and you don't surf to the right side of, um, of the town until you get all eight badges. Uh, because you really can't proceed any further without Waterfall. Um, what I'm showing off here is something you can do, actually, very early. Um, since now we have Surf, we, the work, this region is going to be a little bit more, um, easier to explore at this point. And, uh, before, before I even take on the, um, uh, alternate path that I was going to take on in terms of badges, I, I'm going to be exploring what you call optional areas. Some, some places you don't have to visit, but... Uh, you can for the sake of gathering new items, maybe new Pokemon along the way, and um, and, and, and of course some optionally hard trainer battles that you can get for some good experience. Oh, really? Yes. Sweet. Um, I, uh, there's also a thing you can do uh, beneath the, the basement of Union Cave on a Friday night where you can catch a wild Lapras there. Yeah. They, they only appear every Friday night, so uh, on an actual Friday night, I will be recording my next session there to attempt to catch that Lapras. Ooh, okay. Nice. You're not going to use it on your team, obviously. No, 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 but if in, case you have, in case you didn't have a water type starting off, or um, or if you're looking for a decent water type, Lapras is actually, in my opinion, a good pick, because here's the thing. Um, if you really want to, if you want to, if you really want to have a chance against Lance's uh, Dragon-type Pokemon, the only good ice moves you can get right now are either Ice Punch or Icy Wind. Um, Icy Wind's will be fine if you want to slow down said Pokemon. Ice Punch is better for raw damage, but you don't quite get the power of Ice Beam. So, if you were to get a Lapras, 
Um, you level up okay, to level water. Mystic Water boosts your water type moves. Uh, very, very good on your Surf user, which I'm going to be using for my uh, Croconaut here. Um, if you do have Lappers on your team and you bring it to the Elite Four, uh, make it can learn Ice Beam naturally. So if you want an Ice Beam user, I, I believe it's so. Anyways, Lappers is your only choice. Yeah, I think Lappers gets it. I think in the low 40s. I think. Um, level 36. Oh, even earlier. All right. I like, be I like being wrong in this. <laughs> so, so sometimes sometimes it's okay to be wrong. Yeah. All right. All right. Now, no, now I did forget to bring the Togepi, but because here's the thing. If you show Professor on the Togepi, he gives you an Everstone, which basically prevents your Pokemon from evolving. But I will show it off as like a quick clip thing uh, because I did forget to do it here. It's not a big deal. You can show it to him whenever. Yeah. Uh, what do you get with the Togepi? I think the experience check? Or I think of something else. No, no, you, you, no. You, when you get the red Gyarados, you get the red scale, oh. and, you, and you bring it back to Mr. Pokemon. And this is what I'm talking about here. You can, you don't, you, you don't need to go here yet. <laughs> but you can if you want to. Yeah. Oh, look at that! It's the Zubat of the Sea. Tentacool. Uh, let's talk about Tentacool here for a second. Here, uh, Tentacool, despite being a Water type Pokemon and part Poison, actually has a really good special defense type. Yeah, and it's also decently fast as well. I think Tentacruel being based 100 speed. Oh, uh, you mean Tentacruel? Yeah, Tentacruel, yeah. Yeah, when it evolves in Tentacruel, it actually become it actually become a nice special sponge. Yeah, I like it. I like it quite a bit. It's really good also, I think, in later generations, once you get, like, Toxic Spikes, Hay, that sort of stuff. Really good Rapid Spin. Actually, not bad Rapid Spin user, too. Sweet. All right, so this guy is like, hey, I'm taking your first step into Kanto. Check your Poke Gear map and see. Well, well, you, you can, it basically tells you that you're in the uh, Kanto region. Kanto region, yeah. And here, here's the thing: you can't get on the other side because you need waterfall. So we go to Tojo Fall here. There's something that you get early, especially which is good in my case, considering I'm gonna be making a Nidoking for the team. Ooh, okay. Seeking. Ooh. Oh, I have to, oh, I gotta use the bathroom. Get right back. All right. So while he is doing that. A Seeking right here is pretty much the evolved form Goldeen. It's a water type, and it's not exactly the best, just because it's more of a physical attacker. And with Seeking right here, it's a uh, water type, and water type is considered special in this game. So, with that in mind, because he's going to switch out over here into his Nido, in his Nidorino. He's pecking that, pecking that to death. So, oh, crap, I can't talk. Um, uh, Alright, uh, shoot. Anyways, uh, so yeah, uh, he's probably gonna be grabbing the Moonstone right here, which evolves Nidorino and Nidorino and Nidorina into Nido Queen and Nido King, respectively. So a really good item here that you can grab early, which I really, really like. So I like the Nidos quite a bit, just because as we've said earlier, they are more uh, Nido King is more offensive, while Nido Queen is more defensive. In later gens, um, Nido King with Sheer Force and Life Orb is really good. And Nido Queen gets really nice uh, moves with Toxic Spikes and Black Sludge is more of a support role. So, that in mind, you're gonna heal up really quick right over here. So, we are coming up on the time limit. So, surfing over here. Doo -doo -doo. Random encounter. Alright. And Moonstone, yes. So, next time we are going on in Pokemon Crystal, I believe he is gonna be heading back into Johto, where we will be continuing our adventure. See you guys.